Could the UNSC destroy the Death Star? <laughs> No, they don't have a prayer. Specifically, could the UNSC home fleet which protected Earth take down the Death Star with no other support? So the Death Star just needs a few minutes to destroy this planet, depending on how much they charge the weapon beforehand. Here are the facts. The Death Star had a very powerful super laser which could destroy not only planets, but individual starships. It yes, it is orders of magnitude beyond anything seen in Halo to overcome a planet's gravitational binding energy was covered with point defense weapons and turbo lasers, and was also supported by thousands of TIE fighters. The Death Star could defeat them without its main weapon, considering how many guns it has. UNSC ships die all the time to Covenant, Plasma, and Kinetics. They are not designed to survive thousands of weapons with Gigaton-class fire. The UNSC home fleet was made up of several battle groups, including the 5th Fleet and its 75 ships, but there's also Battle Group Victory, the Soul Defense Fleet, and more. That's tiny. Against a battle station designed to dominate entire star systems. Here's why the UNSC has a real shot. Their ship's main weapon no. is the MAC. Because of Newton's first law, these weapons generally have an unlimited range. Keep okay, don't see how that's relevant. They also require long charge times and predictable firing vectors. They're not going to get a chance. Going till they hit something. Halo ships can already, through AI, target moving ships from 100,000 kilometers away. The Death Star could withstand it, though. The Death Star doesn't move. It's a very easy target. A stationary object with planet scale, mass, and shields, and armor is harder to destroy, not easier. And although a map won't destroy in one hit, without shields, the Death Star will eventually... If the Death Star didn't have shields, it would be destroyed by its own reactor. And UNSC Max are only in the megaton to hundreds of megaton range if you're being generous. So they're over 15 orders of magnitude short. They'd be worn down and critical systems will be destroyed. The Death Star Super Laser does have maximum range. Star Wars energy weapons dissipate in space. No, Star Wars weapons are specifically designed for vacuum combat and orbital bombardment. If they dissipated, Star Wars space combat wouldn't function at all. However, even if that wasn't the case, it would not be able to target every UNSC ship fast. It blows up the Earth. The entire fleet gets caught in the explosion. Game over. That's enough. Of course, this is all assuming that Master Chief doesn't just 360 no-scope a Mac round into the Death Star's main reactor and then teabags the exhaust port to get it to blow up.